Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's only me again, and yet, you've probably guessed it, we're out doing some more metal detecting. So if you watched last week's video, you might remember that I was in a massive ploughed field where I had just the most awesome day. I found three hammered coins in one day and a really nice artifact which turned out to be the head of Christ and it was once part of a very early medieval crucifix. How cool. Well, good news, today I am back in those ploughed fields. We are doing a different field today because, you know, why not? We've got a few fields to do and it will be the very last day that we're allowed in them before the farmer says, no way, that's way too long and we can't dig. So I'm back out today with Mr. Tweed who hopefully is gonna get uh, some nice finds too. And if you wanna see what we find, then continue to watch. That leads me to say thank you all very much for watching my videos. Thank you all to all the new subscribers that have joined the channel. Please don't be a stranger, hit a comment below, say hello. Uh, if you do want to subscribe to this one guys, then feel free, it's just the button below. And if you want to help the channel grow, drop us a thumbs up as well. We'll see you all on the very first hole. Okay, so I'm on my very first target of the second day in these amazing ploughed fields. And the very first target I get is one of those awesome pewter buttons again. Always foil me these things, honestly. And this one especially, because I swear it did look just like a hammered coin when I pulled it out of the ground, but it wasn't to be. It's just a small Victorian pewter button. Let's crack on. Okay, what do we have here? So this is my second target today, guys. And it's a coin, which is pretty cool. But is it an old coin? I mean, whatever this coin is, unfortunately, looks pretty busted. It's green, so it's copper alloy likely a kind of George the third, maybe could even push it back to a George the second. But it was a nice target, definitely worth digging, but we've got to push on and see what else comes out. Now for any of you eagle eyes that watch that might notice that I'm not using my normal pinpointer today, you might also realize that I don't have my finds pouch. And that's because my pinpointer is always attached to my finds pouch and my finds pouch is at home. Yep somebody accidentally forgot to bring their finds pouch. However, Mr. Tweed came to the rescue with his spare pinpointer, so all is not lost. And um, hopefully it will come in very, very handy because without a pinpointer in a field like this, probably gonna take absolutely ages finding each target. Okay, so you're never gonna believe this, guys. We've been in the field for about 10 minutes and Mr. Tweed, the lucky gimp has uh, only gone and found something that looks pretty good so we're gonna trek over to where he is in the field and see what it is he's found but it could be the infamous h word but uh, let's go and have a look right here he is made me walk all the way over the field what have you had so <laughs> i've got yeah a couple of bits only a few only i've only had a few signals but, We've only um, been here 10 minutes. If that, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. And I've already had a lovely silver thimble. Ooh. Which, well, I think it's silver. I've tried cleaning it out. I can't see any hallmarks inside it. But not to say it's not silver. It certainly looks like silver. That is got to be silver, isn't it? Yeah, you'd, you'd think so. Uh, perhaps there's a hallmark under some of the mud that's still uh, still inside. And um, But yeah, most importantly, my, my second signal Go on, it's, it's the H, isn't it? It's the H, a lovely little hammered, and I've, I'm not quite sure what it is yet. It, 
it's got a shield on it, it's, it's, so it could be um, Elizabeth I, but it's got a letter each side of the shield. Um, don't know if you can make that out. There's not much to go on on the other side, but... Um, wow, mate. Absolutely chuffed. That came up as 45 on the day of two on a um, sensitive programme that's been uh, tweaked a little bit. So you've had... Wait, in the first 10 minutes, you've had a hammered coin and you've had a silver thimble. And I've also had <laughs> some scrap. But yeah, yeah, I have, which is pretty impressive. That is um, so especially cool. Especially after the day you, you, you had the other day. It might be... Um, it might be another three hammered day, but well, we've got hours left yet. Hours and hours, and this this whole field I've done well, three lines up up to where the bags are and down. I've done three lines, and I've had yeah, a lovely little hammered and uh, silver thimble and a couple of grotty coins. So yeah, absolutely chuffed and over the moon. Well um, done, Mr. Tweed. Thank you. Yeah, well hopefully done. hopefully we um, we'll have a few more in this hammered spe uh, dry spell that I'm, I've been having recently. We'll uh, well, it's it's wearing off. So. I think the floods are coming. So I've just had a really strange looking kind of copper alloy find and I can't really decide whether or not this is modern or whether or not it's got some age to it but for the life of me it does resemble some type of tractor part, vehicle part maybe but you can see it's got these two arms with these looped sections and what's really interesting is there's this tiny bit of wire on the left hand arm which obviously was made to sort of pull it up and down, I suppose. But that's about as far as my knowledge with this one goes, because, yeah, I have no idea, guys. But again, if anybody out there can help me identify this, or if they found something similar, please use the comments section below, because I always do really love to see what you guys uh, have to say about the stuff that I find. But yep, yeah, next target is, unfortunately, looks like a piece of modern machinery. Uh-oh, guys, not good news. Looks like Mr. Tweed has lost a shoe already. Oh, I'll leave it there. He might find it in a bit. So I've got a really nice uh, target down here. And it's coming in at the perfect, it's kind of VDI numbers. It's a kind of 85, 86, but it does have a little bit of a grunt to it. So there's a potential that this could be a piece of iron, but we've got to dig it out to find out. So let's do that now. Okay, so whatever this is, it's pretty deep, which is unusual in a ploughed field like this because, of course, you'd expect everything to be sat on the top. So this is a very strong likelihood of this being iron. Okay, so we finally got this thing out and the good news is it's not something iron but the bad news is it looks like it's something relatively modern and I also have no idea what this is possibly some type of furniture fitting or something like that it's quite common in the olden days for well even in the modern times for people to just chuck all the bits they don't want old furniture and stuff into dumps and then um, they used to basically break it all up and then just throw it in the fields and uh, it was probably thrown into like a massive pit in the field and then of course centuries of ploughing have just spread it all over the field but there we are guys nothing good on this one let's uh, push on and see what else comes out 
So there is a really nice shard here, guys, just literally sat on the top waiting for me to find it. And you can see this is a massive, massive piece of pot. And it's obviously a handle, isn't it? From quite a large storage vessel. So it consists of quite a red outer, a very dark inner fabric with lots of these tiny little white inclusions. So it's crushed up stone, maybe a bit of pebble, maybe a bit of shell. Very, very likely this is a piece of medieval pot just sat on the top waiting for us to find it. How cool. So this is quite an interesting little artifact, I think, guys. I've no idea what it is, as per usual, but it's quite an interesting looking thing. Um, I couldn't really tell you what it was made of. I, at first, I thought that this could possibly be lead, but I've seen a little bit of corrosion on the side here, and I think that it actually might be possibly pewter, because I've seen pewter deteriorate uh, exactly like that before. But it's just an odd thing. Um, what would this once have been used for? No idea. Absolutely no idea. I'm afraid this is one for you guys again. Uh, I'm sure you eagle-eyed lot out there will probably be able to help me with the identification of this. But yeah, just wanted to show you that one. Still got a lot to do. Let's push on. Oh, wow, guys. <laughs> Now I know usually when I say that I find something like a hammered coin or something like that but uh, I have just dug a target which is a really really cool little artifact. Now this thing was deep I mean oh, considering I'm using this hand trowel to dig this hole I've had to dig out so much mud that I might as well have just used a spade because this was probably you know a good sort of 10 inches below the soil but what I've gone and found here is really really interesting. So I think this is part of a medieval purse bar and why this is really interesting is because this probably dates to around the 13 or 1400s and this is the cross section here and the loop is where it's attached to the belt. It's missing the two bars either side but essentially the leather pouch would have come down the bottom here. And this, although it's just copper alloy, would have held coins dating from around that time. So what's really cool guys is that potentially in this area, and bearing in mind the plows moved everything everywhere, there could potentially be a little coin spill from around this time. Now Sam's coin that he found earlier, um, he's had a little look at it and he actually thinks that it's a Henry VIII half penny sovereign or a sovereign half penny. So that would date to around the sort of um, 1500s. So this purse bar very likely predates that coin. So it's very unlikely that Sam's coin, which he found all the way over the other side of the field, um, came from this purse. So pretty exciting times guys. Will we find the coins that came with this purse bar? Well you've got to keep watching to find out but a uh, really nice example. I've never found one with the loop intact and it actually still spins as well so that is really really cool. So there's a really nice bright 66 here guys, solid 66. It's potentially going to be a piece of modern rubbish, uh, but I think it's definitely worth some investigation. It's right near the top. In fact, we're moving it around right now with Sam's pinpointer. So I don't think it's going to take much to find this one. Ah, here we go. Yeah, just as I thought, it's a piece of modern rubbish. It's one of those like uh, kind of farming tags or the farming rivets. So yeah, it's fairly modern. 
nothing uh, certainly involved with that lovely medieval purse bar but we've got to keep pushing on if we want to find those so let's do that Okay, so we've got another target here, which is VDIing at about 86, 87. It's quite a choppy little target, but it is consistent from a few different angles, but it sounds like it could be deep, which I'm not looking forward to digging if I'm using a hand trowel, but let's give it a go anyway, guys. Let's see if we can get it. The worst thing about digging in this field is I'm really kind of conscious about destroying these little seedlings, but um, I'm trying to put them back as good as I can. It's just that I'm afraid that I'm going to ruin them. And that's probably not good. Hence why the farmer said this would be the last day in here and that's completely understandable whatever the farmer wants the farmer gets okay so we have found something but this looks like a caster wheel from a bit of furniture and you the sort of things that you would see maybe on the bottom of chairs or tables and it's so that you can spin them around and move them without sort of destroying the floor really I mean it's quite an old caster wheel but it would have been highly decorative bronze at some stage but yet just another furniture piece just uh, shoved in this field really out of sight out of mind but oh well guys it's just a copper alloy caster wheel let's uh, push on so I've just had quite an interesting little find down here it's another one of those things that um, looks really interesting quite decorative but pretty hard to explain actually what this is or what this actually came from so it's quite thin it's a very thin copper alloy and it has a certain sort of pattern or design on it now at first thoughts I did think it looked a little bit zoomorphic but I don't really know uh, it's, I'm unsure really, it, it could be a number of things, but it's certainly got some really interesting patterning to it. And I would be really intrigued to find out what this was actually from. But I'm probably never going to find that out, guys, unfortunately. It's just one of those interesting little things you find in the field and maybe, you know, a few months or a year later, I'll probably find, see another one and go, Oh, it's one of those. So um, if I do, I'll uh, give you guys an update. And if anybody out there knows what they think this might be, then uh, please uh, drop a comment below. But there we are, just that one. Let's see what else comes out. Okay, so Mr. Tweed strikes again. 
It's what a, have you had? It's a hammy double whammy. Oh, First two time hammies. I've ever had two in one day. It's and this was mate. quite literally just on the surface. Uh, it's a Edward, I don't know which one. Um, nice Edward little lady penny. Third, yeah. yeah. And if you look on this side, uh, you can see all of the pellets and. Um, nice. And the, yeah, Canterbury mint, I think I can make out across the top. Cantor, That's yeah. Civitas Cantor. So that would be City of Canterbury. That's the one, yeah. It's, uh, it's quite a nice full flan on this side. Uh, it's been clipped a little bit on this side, but I'm uh, more than chuffed with that. And I was just about to go off into the next field as well. I, it was yeah. funny, wasn't it? Because we were just saying like, oh, I wonder where all these good finds are because it had gone a little bit quiet. Mm. And then um, all of a sudden I hear you <laughs> shouting away like a madman because you found a really cool silver hammered coin. So um, let's say that's what, an Edward the Third. Edward the Third. yeah. So what, what are we looking at there, 1300s? 1300, yeah. So this will be... Yeah, between probably middle mid 1200s to mid 1300s, and um, I'll I'll put it on the forums tonight because there's experts out there that can obviously tell you the class and whatnot. I mean, I can't even figure out if it's a first, second, or third, let alone what class it is. But um, I'll let you know, obviously, what it's ID'd as. Um, so that coin oops. is almost a thousand years old. Yeah, getting there, isn't it? That is amazing, and it's made of silver. And uh, that would have been worth a huge amount, really, wouldn't it, back then? It would all have. The, it, all it, that time ago? They would have felt that loss, definitely. Um, Absolutely. I, mean, I, I did hear once that this would have been a week's wages. I don't know how accurate that is. Um, yeah, don't don't quote me on that. But, um, nice. but no matter what it was, it would have been it would have been a, a quite a, quite a bad loss. And, um, yeah, just quite literally, as you say, sat there shining, you know, <laughs> facing me on the surface so uh yeah, edward looking up at you yeah <laughs> well Very done lucky. mate well done thank you i'm chuffed with that so i've just had a little button down here now i know yeah it's just a button it's not a silver hammered coin or a nice artifact but um it's uh, quite an identifiable button because on the front it has what looks like an anchor so it's very likely that this is an old naval button. Could date from the 1700s onwards, really. It's a domed button, probably was very highly decorative at some stage. I'd imagine that this would have been very, very shiny, maybe even gold gilt, because that was quite typical for buttons of this period. But yeah, that's not a bad little find. And it was a nice solid 83 as well on the old VDI. So. Um, not too bad guys, but we've still got a fair bit to go, haven't we, to find something nice. But uh, let's keep going, hopefully we do. Okay, I've just had this ginormous signal down here. And just below the surface is this absolutely whopping great big coin. Now, I think I know what this coin is. And if any of you guys have watched any of my previous videos, I think you guys would also know what this coin is, but there is only so many coins that are this big, this chunky, and this round um, in circulation, or was in circulation. And uh, yeah, I can pretty much see, see the detail that I need to see now. So if you look really closely on the front, you'll see Britannia seated there. And of course, on the back, you should very much see a George III, which would make this a 1797 cartwheel penny. It's a solid bronze penny. They only made them in 1797, and uh, they were only made for one year. And I can kind of see why, really, because the coin itself is so big, so cumbersome. It's actually the biggest one penny ever produced. So I can kind of see why they decided that it probably wasn't a very good idea and then started to make them smaller because the amount of these that I find in the ground suggests that these got lost all the time. But I'm happy with that. That's a nice little find, guys. A nice 1797 cartwheel penny. Maybe I'll get some detail on it. I'll have to clean it up when I get home. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Well, guys. I have finally done it. 
I didn't think it was going to happen today. Um, I've been pushing and pushing really hard, but I honestly didn't think I was going to find a silver coin. How cool. So this is a one shilling. So it's not a hammered coin. Um, it's quite a modern coin. However, um, the date on this one is 1915. So that would be a George V silver shilling. Now what's really good about this is because it's pre-1920, this shilling will be made of solid 925 silver. Hence why it gave such a nice signal. So uh, it's my first silver coin of the day, guys. Can you believe it? It's probably about three o'clock now. And um, I've still got sort of all this section here left to do as well. So it seems to be a little bit of activity around here. I've had the um, cartwheel penny just up there, as well as a few other bits. So it's potentially a little hotspot, this. So I'm gonna have to work this one pretty hard. Hopefully we'll get some more. But what an amazing little coin. Oh wow guys, so it's been a little while since I've found anything good, that's for sure. Um, but I have just come across something which does look really, really cool. Um, oh, <laughs> what a find. Do you know, this was literally just lying about, I'd say probably about half a centimetre above the actual ploughed soil. I mean, it was just lying there, waiting to be found. And it looks fantastic. So on first inspections, this looks like a decorative leather mount. So essentially, this would have been on a horse strap or possibly on a saddle. But it's got some really nice decoration on it really nice and potentially it's quite old I would say just by kind of my first inspections without cleaning it up at all in any way there's a good likelihood that this is 1600s I mean it could even be before it could even be earlier now I'm trying to work out what it's made of so, at first, I thought that it was going to be silver because it had this kind of uh, silvery sheen to the top of it. But if I turned it over, it looks a little bit more like copper alloy. In which case, this is probably been tinned or it's sort of had a silver gilt on the top of it which means it would have been really really shiny really decorative on the horse and it looks cool i mean it looks kind of rude but it's not it's actually just a harness decoration what a wonderful thing guys out there if you can help me date this then i would be much appreciated but uh what a lovely artifact Okay guys, so I am right next to this telegraph pole, not too far away from where I found that mount. And I think I found a hammer coin. Oh, I can't believe it. I didn't think I was gonna get one today. I really didn't. But I think that it is a hammered coin, guys. I generally do. Oh no. <laughs> It's not, it's not a hammered coin. Oh, so gutted about that. Oh my God. I don't know what this is. This actually looks like the top to something. But strangely, it looks silver. I can't figure out why this would be silver and not a hammered coin. Oh, that is cruel. <laughs> 
the silver gods are punishing me for the day I had last week where I found three hammered coins. Most certainly are, but um, I don't know. This does generally look silver, but I don't think it's a hammered coin because it's really shiny on one side and on the other side it's blank and it has two holes in it. So it's probably something to do with this mast. <laughs> oh, oh well, let's uh, push on. You never know, we might get one yet. Well, let me try this for the second time, guys, because I think I've just gone and found a hammered coin. Um, but I think this time it is actually a hammered coin. The problem is, it's a very small hammered coin and it appears to be bent in half and it has a hole in the middle. <laughs> so uh, it's not the best one in the world, but I've actually just gone and found a hammered coin. So I cannot complain whatsoever. Um, such a small, faint little signal, even in my hand in the front of the coil, that is, it's like 67. It's very strange for a hammered coin, but I'm almost sure it is a hammered coin. It's just very, very bent. Um, I don't know what type of hammered coin this is. I don't know what rain this is, but it possibly could be a Charles I, something like that. I'm only going by what I can see on the front and there's a sort of shield design on the front. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that is it. That's all I've got to go with on this one, guys. Other than that, I couldn't tell you, but <sighs> what can I say? And we're probably about 15 minutes away from uh, calling it a day. And I persisted on, I just kept going, methodically doing this section of the field. I wasn't gonna give up. And I found a little hammer coin, chuffed. Okay, so uh, Mr. Tweed just had to shoot off now. It's about six o'clock. And to be fair, I should probably be gone, but uh, little things in the ground are keeping me here, like this thing that I've just found right now. So I said to Mr. Tweed just before he left, I'm just gonna finish this section all the way up to the fence and then that's it, I'm done. It's the last chance we're gonna be able to get in this field. So I thought, why not? You know, I'll just try and push on and push on as much as possible. I was detecting up and down here, had an absolutely corking signal. And uh, I've cleaned it off and I've just found something I have never found before. And it looks really, really cool. Come and have a look at this. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's a small round copper alloy coin. Didn't think much of it when I first pulled it out of the ground, but then I gave it a bit of a clean. And I saw on the front, this kind of crown motif. And underneath the crown is some writing. I don't know if you can kind of see that on the camera. And I thought, wow, this looks really cool. And then I turned it over. Check this out. So <laughs> I don't know if you can kind of see that, but you can see the head. Now, honestly, I thought this was a Roman coin because the back and the head and the portrait generally does look like a Roman coin. But it can't be a Roman coin because of the lettering in the crown on the front. I have never ever seen a Roman coin like that. Plus it's too well made for a Roman coin. It's too round, it's too perfect. So what is this? What coin is this? Is this even a coin? Is it a coin weight? Is it some sort of gun money? Guys, I do not know. I am totally lost with this one, but it's sure as hell gonna be pretty good fun finding out, that's for sure. What a wonderful little find. 
I am so glad I decided to just stay on in this field and finish this section because it has paid off massively. Awesome. So I've just had another target. I've dug it out of the hole, given it a bit of a clean. I didn't think this was anything special. Hence why I probably didn't film myself digging it out. But look at the pattern that's on the front of this. I don't know if that's showing up very well on the camera, but there is really, really some really cool details kind of carved into this. Now, I'm not 100% sure because I don't find very many of them, but if you see the top of it here, can you see it's got this kind of split? And that makes me think that this is very possibly a medieval um, strap end. So the leather strap essentially would have gone in there and this would have dangled on the end of it. Essentially it was a weight to keep the strap from uh, sort of, you know, blowing in the wind when they were riding the horse. But I don't know that for sure. It's still very much a theory, but look at the cool decoration on the front of this thing. How cool. But guys, if you can help me out with this one, because again, I'll probably never know for sure whether or not this is anything good. If you think it's a strap end, leave a comment below. And again, if you think that there's anything else that it might be, leave a comment below. Awesome. Okay guys, that's pretty much it for today. I am calling it a day. It is half past seven. I've been here since nine o'clock this morning and I have given it my absolute all today and it's paid off. What wonderful fields these are. It's such a shame. I'm never gonna have chance to get in these again or at least until next season is in anyway. But as soon as they are ready to come in, I will be straight back in here guys. So stay tuned for that video. But don't worry, because in the meantime, I have got plenty more permissions, plenty more videos all lined up for you. So if you've enjoyed this one, I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy those too. That leads me to say, if you have enjoyed the video guys, then please consider subscribing. It's completely free. It's not gonna cost you any money. And if you do want to support the channel and you want to support what I do, drop us a thumbs up as well. That means an absolute ton. I am off home for a well-deserved rest. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.